What's up you guys? What do we have here? We have a simple review. We have a fish finder from Lucky Laker. Uh, this fish finder here uh, claimed to be a portable one. So that's the reason why that's why I was motivated to get this one. Because it's portable, it's practical. Uh, to my surprise, this is not a portable uh, fish finder. No way, no how. I will explain why. Guys, you have no clue or difficult online shopping is. You can never, you never get the truth. It's always half a truth if you're lucky or quarter of a truth. Okay, does it work? Yes, it does. What is the biggest problem? Maybe there's two. Number one, this fish finder is expensive. Number two, this fish finder is not portable. Does it work? Yes, it does. We have some pros and cons with this fish finder. Okay, so in your box, uh, the default settings for this fish finder are all favorable to the user, you. Okay, so that's part of the pros. Is that good? Yes, that's, that, that's good. So okay, it's, it's a little box. You know, I suggest that you guys never throw away boxes wrapping until you are sure that everything checks out do you dig it okay you dig it all right so let's continue so this is your fish finder all right in the box you have uh oops Okay, so they are telling you that you must keep this uh, form in case there is a problem with it. You will fill up this form and return it to them. That's cool. All right. This fish finder, you can use it for ice fishing or regular fishing. It is compact not heavy it is rechargeable it only has four buttons up down left right at the bottom there is a check mark that's your power button this button up here that's what's gonna give you access to your menu and once you press this one here you go back to press your check mark and from there you can scroll through your menu and start playing with your settings. But I am telling you that uh, to my surprise, which is good, the default setting of this device are perfect. All right. So, okay. And the box, you have a... Oops, oh, 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 wait, there's the shell, which belongs to the fish finder. That's your owner's manual, Lucky Laker. You have a few things here, pamphlet. Look, or it's got some strong pros. You see, if you want to switch to ice fishing, it's that simple. You just press this button. Which one? It was too fast. We didn't get to see it. You just press this one here. Okay. For ice fishing. Okay, so let's just go through the papers and I'll turn it on and, and show you how simple. This is the most simple and easiest fish finder to use. Anyone can use it. It is very accurate. I am upset because 
because that they claim that this was portable and that's why I got it in the first place. I was looking for something portable, something that you could cast up on the water and it's going to like find stuff for you. You don't have to dip in, you know. Now, I know, I know, I know. Most people would dream to have a, a fish finder. I have one. You know, what am I complaining about? When the technology is available, is made available to you. So you want to go further as the technology, as technology progress, you are going along with it. It helps. It help makes everything e so much easier now look how many different countries different languages that this thing is translated uh, to okay you already see the flags uh, British German uh, French uh, Spanish uh, Portuguese Italian uh, Japan uh, okay sweden oh, you dig it okay so uh, they really were worried about they wanted to make sure that they made themselves understood that's why i see it okay and you have stuff like that completely in chinese or korean okay so uh, this is completely a foreign language. Okay. All right. This doesn't concern you because they also have it in English. Good. All right. Uh, the stuff. Yeah. One more thing to so explain. When you're in winter fishing mode, like us, me, where I'm living now, where I'm living at, and two months it will be winter. So most likely I will be going winter fishing. Okay, so this here, this is <laughs> when it's winter fishing, that little green bar here. That's your fish and this is your your ground. You know, I mean, it's very simple, but we'll go back to this. Uh, what else? Okay, those are the things that you should not do. You should behave. So these are the things that you shouldn't do. Don't leave it there. Don't overexpose to heat, humidity. You dig it, all right? Ah, okay, so those symbols speak. You don't need to like tell what they are if you can see. So you already know. You see a, a snowflake and uh, uh, like a vapor. You see like drops. Okay, I know. I know that you know. So I'm just making sure that uh, everything is made simple there's arrow to point out exactly what they want you to understand so okay and uh, okay this is completely in foreign language yeah okay so this is thick right don't worry this is not the bible thick as the bible yes it is is this the Bible? No. Why is it so thick then? It's because, as you know, remembered? Ah, yes, I see you remembered. Yeah, so this is the exact same thing that keeps repeating in all the languages on this pamphlet here or all in here. So that's why you have the same story keep repeating itself uh you know so you basically have the same book over and over again and uh different languages uh, yeah so you see you have this picture first page 
to go a couple of pages down and there it is again then you go a couple of uh, pages down where is it and bingo it's back again couple of pages down okay so it's the exact same thing that keeps coming back in different languages so uh, it is pretty simple um, this thing here comes with a transducer this is this okay with a long long cord a long wire wire okay so this is not portable okay so to turn it on you just press this you press this you hold it down and then you're your device turns on. It is set, all the settings are on default. Now you have the choice to play the demo. Okay, this one, soon as you drop it in water, it starts reading what's around it. Okay, there's no mystery. This is basic, basic. However, it doesn't have no GPS. No, it doesn't have, hey, I can check mark that place where I was, I saw some fish. Guys, if you really are a fisherman, do you really think I'm not, look, not because I have this one, but listen, do you really think that you're going to check mark a spot and the next day when you go back the fish are gonna say hey sir we're waiting for you no problem are you gonna come back in three days we'll still be there waiting for you so if you have gps in your um, part of your fish finder that's cool if you get lost that's cool then again why would i if you're gonna get lost, if you're gonna go to like foreign places that uh, that's like big enough for you to get lost, I mean, I hope that you're better prepared and self-conscious about what you're doing, GPS or not, you know? So if you have a GPS and your fish finder, yeah, I check mark. Okay, then go back. Go back the next day and find out. The fish, they don't take appointment. There's no wedding list. You see them here today and then two, three hours, you come back, they're no longer there. They have their own behavior, which is still need to be understood to, for us to figure out. Oh, there's food, there's that specific kind of food that pass by around the morning and they're there. In the afternoon, they're somewhere else. So check more as long as you want. Yes, you can have a spot that's, um, you know, you always get fish, but they're not there waiting for you guys, you know, so... If you want to see where you are on the planet, your location, all of that is good. So, okay. Now, if I want to access the menu, I press this one here once, and then I press this. Okay, what do you see? It says sensitivity. You see it? If I press back, it's going to show again sensitivity. It is set to four because I did. I did. But, uh, or is it default? Let me see. I, I, I think I did. If you said, if you would want to set this to uh, full sensitivity, okay? So now we're in menu mode, whether I let it go, the screen is gone, but soon as you press back, it's back. If I would press the arrow this way, look, it's filling up my bar. And if I go back, you see it? 
That's the sensitivity. The sensitivity avoids you picking up the breeze, junk that are in the water, any tiny fish that goes by. You see it and you're like freaking out, you know. So I have it on four. I will only, um, I would, I would only panic if I see a big fish. So I have it on four. Maybe I'm too arrogant, okay? All right, so uh, depth. You get all that just by pressing, hold on. Sorry guys. Depth, low limit. All right. If I press back, that's what we have. Yeah, depth, low limit. Okay, what is this? Depth, low limit is um, if you have an engine, a motorboat, and then you're not sure about the environment that you're in, you're at a new location, you don't want to break anything. This will tell you when the water gets too shallow. This thing here, by default, it's set to one meter, which is about like four feet. Okay, 375, four feet. So that's deep enough for you to, oops, get a buzzer, a wake up call. So this will help you not to like go in with your uh, boat engine and then, ah, oh, it gets shallow and then bang, you, you break your, your engine. So uh, if I press back, as usual, you have the choice, left or right, to adjust the depth level. All right. So now it's set on auto. Okay. Uh, whoever made this, this device, really made sure that any decisions will benefit you. Okay. So, six meters, that's pointless. That's just, that's 20 feet. You're not in danger. Six meters, it's 20 feet. Almost. 19.75 feet. So, you're not going to set it up on, 19 me on six meters. Okay, so, it's same thing, auto... 12 okay so uh, or you can set it on two meters or oh hold on even one meter can wait off no not off <laughs> hold on <laughs> No, on, okay, so wait, okay, or, so wait, tick, tick, tick. okay, so sensitivity, Depth limit, we have it on auto. Now, uh, depth upper limit. Okay, I got it all wrong, guys. Depth limit and upper limit, that's not the same. Depth limit, by default, this one is 100 meter which will never, never happen. Never, never. I don't, unless you go to, on, uh, to Mars or some other ocean planet, no way, no how. You have to tell me where you're gonna go. There's gonna be 100 meters of water. 
that would be you would have monsters living down there uh, what why am I so sure because 24 meters that's 80 feet deep that's that's 24 meters that's how deep just 24 meters is it's 80 feet can you imagine no you okay you don't understand okay to what can I compare this to okay have you been to the swimming pool ever you have one part of the swimming pool that is shallow you can walk you know that is about two meters or less I think 1.5 meter or one meter okay and you're having fun you can walk and the other part of the swimming pool where people are like they have springboard then you jump that part is 12 feet deep oh do you see how deep that is just 12 feet yeah that's the part that people yeah when you dive that's where they set all the springboard when you dive you find that a long long jump a long fly yeah and that's just 12 feet deep and that's deep now can you imagine we're talking about 80 feet deep that is surreal that's why this thing here by default it is set on 100 meters if you don't go to ocean planet then I don't see how is that going to happen on earth if you're going fishing if you're if you're cruising with your family your friend I don't see how it's that is going to happen okay so uh, uh, that hold on So that upper limit, we can clearly, ah, oh man, that upper limit, look, you know what? That upper limit, look, I set it to one. All I did is press this or this arrow. So this is your menu this is to scroll through and these are like to diminish or add more stuff so when you we press back one meter that's good enough that's your upper limit upper limit when you get to like four feet of water you want to know so you don't break your engine so if i would click again what do we have i click again and now what do we have we have shallow alarm off okay you see it shallow alarm off i suggest okay so when you're doing this whether the screen like goes blank or doesn't show it you just press one time and it's back okay that i would say on to avoid accidents okay so uh, like this uh, show alarm wait no I, I could say like show alarm two meters you know it's all you do it's go up or or down okay it's no it's it's just to make you comfortable with with the buttons there's only four buttons anyways so what you really need it's menu you scroll and you add or my you add or you minus you minus so two meters cool enough so we press again what do we have now we have fish icon on I 
press it on. If you don't want it on, then you're going to right click or left click to turn it off. Okay, you're going to click. If you click here, then look, it's off. Okay, but me, I'm going to uh, like this. Me, I'm going to turn it on, guys. Okay, is it on? Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. If you're looking for fish, any th uh, fish that goes by, then yeah, you know, you have it next. So you see how easy this is. You go through all your menu, your settings, just by pressing this one here. So in terms of simplicity, in terms of user friendly, yes, it is. The only thing that thing is that is portable. I will explain to you the difference with something that is portable and not portable. But anything else with this thing is flawless. So, uh, fish alarm. You're going to like this one. Look, fish alarm by default, they have it set on big fish. Okay? They have it set on big fish, but you can oh, wait. You can press this one to add it to from medium to large. If you want to see every all the anything that goes around you, then you press from tiny to medium to large. Me, um, um, I set it on medium and large it's simple guys left right scroll see it's simple and when you press back don't worry the screen is not gone it's still there until you press back you press back again and it goes to another uh, settings you need okay that's good uh, sonar blue you know like they're telling you which color the sonar should be blue good next what do we have um, this thing right here that's point less but when your battery start to drain and before you reach zero, it tells you it will give you an alarm that you're at 3.56 volt remain and then, you know. Okay, next. Language, you see it. When we press again, language. If I would press like, like this, if I would press left, all right okay so i'm going to press back leave it to english how about that and i press here and it goes to another screen what is that other screen's brightness okay i set it to nine because uh, for the purpose of of it okay but um, when you click brightness you can set it to five you you're good okay there you go. Uh, yeah, it's set to five. Upon the time of the day, is it cloudy, sunny? You know? All right. We click again. What's next? Next, chart and speed. All right. You see, it's preset for you to, it's not too fast, not too slow. To read and let things show on your screen, it's set at five. Most of your things, voice, whatever, they all set to like a, a like a halfway to keep you safe. So, I mean, use mode to transducer or simulation if you would press simulation oops wait okay i have to 
simulations up weight transducer okay A weight um, Wait, language, brightness, chart. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, I need to tell you that this thing for it to go. Okay. So this would be like a, a fake simulation of things that you would be seeing. Okay. Yeah. The digits next to the fish tells you the size of it. The lower the digits are, the tinier the fish is and the higher the, the digits are the more, the bigger the fish are, okay? So, now, okay. Now, what is the problem with this? Why do you say that this is not portable and you're, you seem to be disappointed? Yes, guys, I am disappointed because I got this because I thought it was um, portable. I thought you just cast, cast it upon the water and things would happen. So I'm gonna finish with my sentence. It's just to sh show you with this thing here, you have your conventional USB plug. This is conventional on top of here there is an outlet. You open it up like, like so. You see, nothing uh, fancy, you just effortless. That's an outlet for the transducer. And at the bottom, same thing right here. You see? Yeah, there's another opening let's see hold on okay so this one here is to charge your usb using conventional okay so you plug it like this the other side, hold on, wait, so is it like this? the right way yeah okay when things are brand new they kind of like always problem okay so this would like go to your computer and this at the bottom of the unit and then you can plug it for the battery to recharge okay oops let's put it so they have their own power supply, a tiny one, with an USB outlet like this. Okay, you dig it, and the wall, this one here would be like plug here. 
there you have it folks okay all right does that make this portable no I'm just showing you the stuff that you find in the box a uh, little strap where does it go oh, probably through here you know like through here you would pass the strap and then tie it somewhere you know that's the strap yeah what else is in the box oh interesting they're also giving you an outlet uh, a plug for your uh, cigarette lighter and your if you if you in, if you buy a car then you would just use this there you go it goes into your cigarette lighter and it can tear it up your um, fish finder okay so now uh, okay let's get to this is not a portable fish finder to what can we compare this to what comes to your mind when we're talking about portable I'll tell you portable when we're talking portable we're talking about your cell phone that's a portable you don't can you dig it no okay your cell phone if you buy your friend if you at work it still work you don't need no extra setups or a wire or it doesn't have to be wired or connected to anything if you go abroad you can be anywhere on the planet you'll still be able to surf the internet receive call text message messages you'll still be able to use your phone without having your phone attached plug into something the only time that you would plug in your phone is to recharge the battery so this one here is not a portable but your cell phone is you have no boundaries you can be anywhere and still use your phone at full capacity full capacity anywhere this one you can why is it we're not getting real data with this uh, fish finder because that is the transducer okay you have to set it up on something a stick or whatever so i set it up on a two by uh half of an half an inch okay so it's like this that's the uh, transducer for this okay you can unscrew tighten it okay you dig it you dig it all right so this must be underwater so it's like this you can choose some another material me i use a piece of wood bingo okay and then you you tighten it a bit so it doesn't move anymore it's got a floater okay and that's the wire look how much this is now okay for this to give you data it must be connected to the transducer so you are not Oh, portable if not connected to the transducer this simply doesn't work how does it work this thing up on top you remove it uh, lucky this one too does have four four uh, pin so there you go all right you have your four pins 
and this part here must go in the water and you must find a place to tie it to your boat or either your boat engine and without this wire plugged in it it will not work you need this absolutely so the bad news is when you put this in the water it reads the exact same area that you plunged it in the water it's not gonna start seeing what's uh, half a mile or what's further no it's gonna see a certain perimeter around your boat so this becomes efficient only if your boat is moving I went and got something that was that is portable so I have some freedom I don't have freedom with this because I'm stuck this must always be plugged in and then I have this piece of wood and I have to modify it put some rope and tie it so it looks not professional because we have too too many things that's the transducer is the transducer accurate yes it is you know so that is the biggest problem if you if you're not connected to the transducer there's no wi-fi signal no nothing so this is like pretty basic basics but too expensive for something that is basics you know i felt that they could have sell this maybe 50 60 dollars you know so anyways there you have the pros and cons